is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing tonight? All uh, right, no, fuck it. All right, guys are about to get married over there. Turn with the bags. Yeah, what's going on? How are you guys doing tonight? Just married? Yeah, I, I hear you planning the fucking wedding back there. Hey, you guys are good. What is going on, guys? My name is Robert Nielsen. I'm your host for this comedy showcase tonight. I got a few quick rules. If uh, Brandy could please turn those TVs off, like I asked her to, that would be really cool. And if you got your phones on, just make them quiet. Pay attention to the guy on stage. You know, fucking. What? Yeah, can, can you reach? <laughs> Good to have a brand new tonight, ladies and gentlemen. She's gonna be giving you all your drinks. Be sure to fucking take care of her. Uh, I took your money, she wants to take your money. I only got seven dollars of it, and that's like one drink, one good drink, so be all right with that. Uh, fucking what else? Keep your table chatter to a minimum, I guess. Fucking married table over there, you fucking. <laughs> you guys are gonna be fun. You guys loaded up before I could even move the table before the show started. So now you're all in the back corner like the fucking popular kids at school. That's cool. Anyways, I'm going to get the show going on. My name is Robert Nelson. Let's fucking do some shit. Um, we got, oh yeah, we got seven comedians. Mostly fucking comedians in this crowd. So I'm glad all you guys paid. Thanks, Chuck. You the man. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you want to laugh? Hey, hey, that's not on the show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what are you talking about? Come on. Don't. I'm, you're not with me. I'm, I just gave the rules, man. I didn't even tell jokes yet. What is happening? This is kangaroo court, Chuck. It's comedians here. Chuck. All right. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fucking leaving you alone, Chuck. <laughs> Elephant out of the room. I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, what does this fucking guy look like? I know what he looks like. Yeah, but what? Loaf of bread heads. White bread, Chuck. You like rye over there. Fuck <laughs> 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 okay, This guy looks like Tim Burton, a character fuck fucking Billy Eilish. All right, for the older people, this looks like fucking a Tim Burton character fucking Marilyn Manson. Yeah, see, it's getting the older people. All right, fucking, uh, <laughs> looks like Tim, actually, I look like a Tim Burton fucking, if Tim Burton made a vampire movie and cast Nick Cage to be like the lead vampire. <laughs> be a fucking national treasure up in this bitch. I'm a pretty vain guy though. I uh, I got a band. If you couldn't tell, I feel like the stereotypes of the guy is being a band, fucking skinny jeans and long hair, and shit like that. But uh, my my band name we play like spooky rock music. It's Halloween time, so it's getting like time for all that cool stuff. What's going on in the bathroom? What's going on on the stage? With a fucking show you paid for. You paid for everybody. <laughs> what are you doing? You paid half the fucking tickets in here, man. <laughs> now you paying attention. Uh, fuck it, what was I saying? I'm pretty vain, I'm in a band, and we play spooky rap music, and uh, I got, my, my name's, my, my spooky name's not Robert Nilsson, that's not very scary. So I, my name's Vladimir Van Nilsson in the band. So I'm pretty vain, I, I, I drew my car up here, and it's at, it happens to be an Impala, so I named my car Vlad the Impala as well. That's a pretty good one. Mm. Mm. That's crash and burn. That's right. <laughs> it's not all gonna work, guys. Uh, no, but uh, you ever go to like uh, graduations or like parties and they have like the, the PowerPoint or the flash fucking picture slideshow going on and you're always like, oh man, I hope I'm in this next photo. Oh wait, oh there I am, that was a good time. We were hanging out at the fucking splash park. That was so fun. I find myself doing that a lot, like anywhere I go. If there's a slash show, even if I don't know these people, I was, like, I was probably there once or twice. But uh, I, it's pretty bad when I just like I'm at funerals. I'm just like, oh, I really hope I pop up there. Trying to make all the funerals about me. Fuck you, man. <laughs> We're gonna make this happen one day. Trying to make. I'm doing fucking killing it up here. I love opening. Uh, fuck. What else? I used to work at Kroger. For a long time, I quit though during the pandemic. But it's cool. I, I did work there during the pandemic. They give you like this cool hat, and you had this mask on. If you put your apron on, flipped it on your back, 
it was cool. You're like a superhero, you got the mask and everything. But I felt like really weird about it because I was like this white guy with just three big K's on me. I didn't think it was a good look doing this. <laughs> yeah, so I had to quit there. They're like, you're, you're not the superhero we need or deserve. I was like, yeah, I know. Oh, man. Uh, so I was at a Speedway the other day. I was pumping gas. And you know how they have like Speedway TV on there? Like they tell you the news or whatever is going on, like tidbits. So like, here's a fucking questionnaire. Take that while you're paying 575. Anyway, so this fucking came on, but my, my Speedway TV today was like, this missing person, it's like missing kids, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I'm fucking paying attention to that, what's going on? They're missing, they're, here's their fucking credentials and stuff. But they had like a theme track behind it, and it was playing like, run away, train, never come back. And I was like, ah, man, the producer probably could have picked a better song for this, for like kidnapping kids, or fucking missing kids, maybe some of them were runaways. People get kidnapped though. I was thinking like, Maybe in the production like studio, a better fucking song they could have picked was like, Help! by the Beatles. They're like, I need somebody! And I just fucking just help me! You got all these missing kids out there and they're like playing Soul Asylum. Run away, train, never come back. So yeah, they should pick a new song for that. Um, I went to Frankenmuth the other day. You guys know about Frankenmuth? I'm from Florida. So Frankenmuth was like a trip for me. I went down there and I was like, Oh man, this is really cool. There's like little German people everywhere. There's chocolates and fudge. And there's just a bunch of white people. There's really, I was like, oh, so this is what it would have been like World War II, like Germany one. I was like, yeah, it's, it's not so bad. But it's like, if you're in Frank Move, do not say the N word. And I'm not talking about that N word. I'm talking about like Nazi. They don't like it over there. The other one, they're like, yeah, yeah, fuck it. It's fine. Go for it. But it was fucking crazy Germans. <laughs> Killing it in here right now, man. A good night. Oh man. <laughs> I did better when I was fucking talking about stuff looking like my bread earlier. Like, I, uh, my girlfriend, what time was it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend, uh, she started a business during the pandemic. Uh, she's a hairstylist and all the hair salons got shut down and whatnot. So she, she thought it was a good idea. She bought a camper. And she's gonna make it into a mobile hair salon. So she started doing that, and that was really good. But she had a problem the other day. She's like, I don't know what to name it. And I was like, Oh, okay. I'm really good. I'm pretty creative. I'll, I'll create a, a good name for you. She was like, All right, what do you got? And I was like, I have a perfect name. She was like, Let me hear it. And I was like, All right, you're doing hair. You're on the road. And she was like, Yeah. That's the whole fucking point. And I was like, Okay. Roadhead. And she was like, Ugh, I don't think that's the product I want to be selling. I was like, babe, this is the plastic bait and switch. You get them in there, get them in the chair. And they're like, what? And you're like, ah, what a clippy clippy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Robert Nelson. Tonight was super good for me. I hope it was good for you. <laughs>